Welcome back everyone, I'm Rough Pebble and we're playing some more RimWorld modded with the Hardcore SK mod pack. And we're playing version 1.2 and the first thing I'm going to do is feed Mihei over here because he hasn't had any food in a while and is starving. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Get Josh to feed them. Wash them. Go rest. And we'll probably try to feed you again here before too long. Try to feed him again. Alright, now you need food. Okay. Alright, you're fine. You're gonna go use the restroom. Wash your hands. Okay, cool. All right, uh, so that's good. Um, next thing I wanna do is reconsider where we keep this. But even before we do all that, what I'd like to do is go back to this quest of the deserter and accept them. Cause it's only just, it's only the one champion that we have to fight off and it's worth taking this risk. So let's go ahead and see what kind of person. Oh, we got a gun and an Alnico pickaxe. That is good. That is really, really good. Okay, um, so awesome. Okay, we've got a bunch of bunch of stuff here. Let's go ahead and have you run back to base. And do you have any? Okay, you you hurt a little bit, but it's not too bad. You might be able to get some synthetic skin or something like that, and uh, and fix you up here. Let's take a look here. We've got somebody that's landing. A Bozma. So you've got a shield, a personal shield. You're a hard worker, you're neurotic. Are you immediately attacking us? Hmm. Alright, well, I think I want to switch up who has this gun because you are not really a good shooter. Let's drop the pickaxe. Let's drop the gun. Let's drop everything here. And Mihei, why don't you drop that? So we'll have you pick this up. You're gonna come over here, pick up the gun, ammo. Let's stop eating those. All right, you're good to go. Everybody can just do their stuff for a little bit. Oh, and they're beginning their assault. So, Mihei, let's send you up here. Hmm. There is fog right now, so that's on. No, no, no. You better not. Alright, can you take a shot? Alright, run inside. Alright. Come over here, defend Mihei. Okay. Uh, maybe we can go post up over here and take a few more shots. 68%. Ooh, got you in the leg. Okay, you're gonna have to come up over here because we're not. Okay. All right, stand right there. Oh gosh, you have to reload. Come on, there we go. Okay, you got hit in the arm. You got hit in the leg. Do we want you? You're numb. Mental break threshold is down. You're just a beast at working. But you're already a beast at working, and we don't need another person. Uh... You don't do plant cutting, animal work. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 
Let's go ahead and strip you. Ooh, and we got this mono sword. Uh, why don't we go ahead and equip this, give you this. And haul all of this stuff. Great. Okay, good. Um, we'll build another door over here. Build copy. Uh-oh. Spect spectacle of insects. A baron of house partners is having trouble landing near Anhi due to repeated infestations. He wants to draw the bugs to you to be dealt with. This will provoke an infestation of three hives. We're not really into this. No. Now I want these to be medical beds. Reinstall this. Reinstall. Whoops. You here. I want you to rest until healed. I want you to rest until healed. You can finish up what you're doing. I need you to come clean up in here. And... Kavako, okay, you're actually not the doctor that I'm looking for. Alright, you're gonna, it's gonna be Kiyosinte who's the doctor here. Okay, so let's have you clean up in here first. Attend, because it seems like you're bleeding pretty heavily. Oh, you're moderate. Tend. Go ahead and let's clean up in here first. Okay, and let's clean up the blood. Okay, cool. All right, they should be fine. They should be fine. It's nearly chopped, severed our arm there. Okay, but we'll be okay. Tools need replacing. I think I am going to... I mean, it's a good thing that we've got this pickaxe here to replace it with. Um, we're going to keep mining out this passageway a little bit more. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of planning. So, <clears throat> oops. we'll have this be our primary hallway like this. Um, we will go up this way as well. Just like that. Um, and then we'll have some bedrooms up over here. Now, I, want, I need to think about like, if we want to have, oh wait a second, that's too high up. There we go. Actually want you like this. I want windows for each one of these, and we have this structure to take into consideration, so we'll do something like this. And then maybe we can do something like this. We'll do like an infirmary here, and then some more bedrooms. But these bedrooms here won't have windows. If I were to do maybe like workshops if I were to do a 7x7 seven seven here and a 7x9 here this could be the dining room we could have a kitchen in here and then have food storage in here with the little but then where do we put more bedrooms because I can build a passageway here to sort of clear this out and get a window in here and put windows for all of these so that at least gets us five bedrooms on this side I guess we could do more bedrooms as well and then have workshops up along here so we'll do some more bedrooms like this, five by 
actually, nope, that's not where we want it. We'll do five by seven like this. Whoops. Five by seven. Five by seven. And then we just have a ton of bedrooms down this way. And we'll do some more workshops up over here. Seven by seven, or at least put it in this purple, like we've got the other ones. We'll put this in yellow just because it's uh, not a workshop or anything like that. We could even have this be our kitchen and then just have this all be sort of storage space for it, so a freezer. I think I approve of that. Maybe we could even have a workshop here um, that does the seeds and stuff like that. Yeah, so we'll actually do that. We'll set this up like this. So there'll be a seven by seven workshop here. And then this will all be freezer over here. Like that. And we'll probably need it to be out like this because it's gonna need to vent outside. Now that is sort of the long-term plan here. So with that in mind, um, if this is gonna be a workshop, Maybe we make this like the intellectual workshop, um, do the research bench in here, a couple other things. Let's go ahead and hide the planning. All right, actually no, unhide it. Go here and let's dig out this right here. We can cancel a little bit of this like that. Okay. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm happy with this. We are gonna cancel this for the moment. What do you need? Why are you upset? Ravenously hungry. You can get up now. You don't have to lay in bed. You also don't have to lay in bed. I don't think you're gonna get an infection. Let's clean up and let's go ahead and move this, reinstall this in here for the time being, just so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, Kavako, as soon as you do that, come over here and work on this. Then yeah, go wash your hands, that's good too. And we finally got a chair going. Okay, good. Who has that? Is that you, Chan Chedley's? Uh We're actually going to rename you. Let's rename you after a subscriber. Jason Gabriel Luna. So we'll just call you Luna. Welcome to the colony. More than happy to help you out however we can. Now this thing is at 6.5%, so we should maybe be able to dig out all this. If not, that's okay too. All right, speed up time. Go rest, go use the restroom as needed. This tree is still alive, good. Um, no, we don't have any anima grass. Why isn't anybody meditating? Whoa. Okay, malnutrition minor, blood loss. Okay. You're going to be fine, me, hey. Schedule.
Oh, let's go ahead and block those. Well, how did those get mm, unblocked? Weird. New lovers, Mihei and Luna, are feeling each other. Resting, fully healed. Yeah, go eat some food. What else? What are we building over here? Okay, so we're gonna dig this out. You're fully healed as well. Okay, good. And this thing is at 4.1%. Let's get a light in here. Accessories, let's put in a bowl lamp made out of granite. And let's stop doing this. Right? Like, this is just pretty silly. Um, I want you cleaning instead. Is there anything to hunt? Because what I'd like to do is start making actual beds and not these hay beds. Okay, there's a terramorph over here, or tetramorph. What are they called? Terramorph. What's this? Oh, just an ostrich. There's some deer up here. More deer this way. Okay, they're fighting each other. Yep, that's gonna kill you. This probably isn't going to kill you. <clears throat> I wish there were... Where are those bison? Let's hunt you. Let's move this person. We're gonna need more. Okay, so once you're done with this, let's go ahead and put, a, put some brakes on this. Don't need these as much anymore. And I just want to focus on Josh, you're still using this thing. Okay, 1.2%. And this thing is about to give out. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and equip this. All right, and we're finally getting some wood planks here. Okay. This is all good. Unfortunately, we don't have a double bed for you all yet. Um, oops. Make those non-medical. You don't have to sleep outside. Uh, this is for you, Mihei. All right, there we go. Everybody should have a bed now. And how many wood planks do we have? Just 15. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hide all of this planning, and we'll figure that out in the coming days. So... pretty excited about what we've got lined up here. I think this is exactly where we want to be. It's nice and warm in here. Our food is relatively cold. We're frozen, so it should last a pretty long time. Yeah, it's blinking on and off there. Any other... Alright, so should we just go hunt? Whoa. A green wyvern just showed. Hmm. Could try to go hunt that thing. Probably not, though. Not just with one gun. Um, 
Mihei, I just want you using a single fire now. Single shots. Solar flare. Yeah, well, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Mihei, you are going to be our primary. Ooh, actually, Kiyosinte, you are way more interested now. I don't know why it's saying that. I'm going to let Mihei do that. Finish up this door. Ooh, and I want you to drop this mace. We'll give that to Josh. Drop that. All right. Um, and you, uh, I guess it's okay that you have the shield here. I was kind of hoping to give that to Luna, but that's okay. All right, and let's go ahead and build the miscellaneous research table. Got visitors. There are two of them. Do we have enough beds? I don't think we do. Um, we have, okay, we have enough to make a plain leather bed, I believe. Plain leather, simple bed. We'll make that in here for right now. Miscellaneous. We'll put you right here. Double check the plans. Perfect. Yep, that's exactly where we want it. Alright, so a little bit long term decision making here. Let's have Kavako build. Why don't you work on this? Carry the rest of it over here, finish up this bed, and we'll make this for guests. Now this is going to be... Actually, I'd rather have you mine this out first, than this one. Okay, we still need 150, we have 45. So, 110, 105-ish left make. You're gonna go hunt the bison. Good. It's a great shot. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there's a donkey that we could eat. Not really trying to recruit or tame those donkeys, but if we could maybe get like a male and a female buffalo or a bison or a um, muffalo, any one of those would be pretty cool. All right, so we're in the depths of winter. None of this stuff deteriorates, right? Yeah, no, it's all fine. And this green wyvern is just chilling out here. Oh, Kur, I'm a little concerned for your well-being. Okay, good. Please just come inside. So we hunted the bison. are looking pretty good here. Eat some mushrooms, sure. Let's do a little bit of cleaning in here. A 
Uh, okay. Do a little bit of cleaning here. Good. And then we can go ahead and build a granite wall right here. All right, making some planks. We're at 60. Got a good bit ways to go. Have we trained you to haul stuff? No, not yet. It's gonna take some time, I think. Okay, keep hauling all this. about halfway there and we've almost got our first research bench then we really do need to have somebody focusing on that so that will be you Kiyosinte when you're not planting and harvesting and stuff like that or uh, I guess producing stuff Okay, good job, Josh. Another Manhunter pack. Holy cow, a scorpion. There are two of them. I think we're not gonna let folks go outside this way for a little bit. I'm concerned for these two folks when they try to leave here. It's not going to be good. Alright, you guys are out here playing fetch. All this. Uh-oh. You guys are about to get slaughtered out here. This is not good. And I swear, if you let them in here, this I'm gonna have some real issues with this tribe. Okay. They're trying to take them on. Chief is angered. This one's gonna die. There's nothing I can do about this. I can't come out here and rescue you for fear of getting destroyed myself. So yeah, you're gonna die. That's a given. Okay. You're level 10 construction. What is Kavako at? Only level 8. Yeah, well, you have to cook and you have to do a bunch of other things, so that makes sense. But we'll get you up there one day. So we're at 120 of this. We can turn this back on because Josh is no longer mining stuff. And where is your pickaxe right now? 90%. Okay. So if I wanted to make let's do this if I wanted to make production a furnace I probably need this whole thing mined out so for right now we're going to do this
just mine that all out. And that's where we're gonna do all of our, it's gonna be our primary workshop for right now. And here we can also fit in these other tables. Hmm, I might actually just put a little pause on this. Okay, so you're down. You're still a manhunter. Yeah, I mean, you're dead. Don't know if this means that we can maybe open this back up. Kind of hoping we can. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, go play horseshoes. I don't really need you hauling stuff, though. Yeah, like, I don't really want that right now. Just disallow. Disallow. Maybe you can go grab that. I don't think they'll come after you. Core wins nomads. Four desperate refugees approaching, are approaching. Their leader is called Corwin. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. Corwin begs you for permission to stay at Anhi for 14 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, some of them may join you. Uh, they may also reward you later for helping them, but there is no way to know their true intentions. They're not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without di diplomatic consequences. I think I'm going to put that on hold for right now. Four people that we would have to house right now. I just don't even have the capacity for that, as far as I'm aware. Okay, and then we'll haul this. That should be enough to mine out this whole area here, and that will give us enough um, space to make the uh, the additional pickaxes. So I think this is we're in, we're in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, you're. You can see. You're just having to mine out this hewn granite. How are we looking here? Okay. Got plenty of stone blocks coming in. You are still out here. I'm sorry, Chief. I don't know what else we could have done, dude. Short spear, bronze mace. All right, we'll definitely want all this stuff from them. If only to just potentially use it uh, later down the line once we get a loom. Let's make that all just stockpile. And maybe let's just shrink it down a little bit along the edge here, just so we can walk through. Okay, we should be uh, yeah, still at plateauing at 120, because we're doing a good bit of mining and other stuff here. So this will be important, because we do need additional tools. Most of our folks actually don't have tools right now. Well, half of them don't have tools. You're still over here pissed. Did you, by chance, eat this? No. 
Major break risk, why? Oh yeah, just go eat something. And take care, what? Okay. Where did that scorpion go? Wildlife. It's not down here, is it? Alright, warming up a little bit outside. And there doesn't seem to be a scorpion in sight, so... That's good. Um, let's have Josh come over here and strip you first, and then strip you. We can harvest this mushroom. And I, ooh, we got some psychoid seeds. All right. Doing a little bit of cleaning up. Awesome. That's good to see that we're trying to take care of our place. Awesome. Okay, good. Josh, what are you up to right now? Oh, you're unloading inventory. You don't need to do all this. Just do that. Are you wearing tatter? Oh my god, you're wearing tainted clothing. Aren't you? Tainted normal fur hat, yeah. Gross. Con contract colonists. Lend three colonists for 29 days? Get out of here. Get out of here. That's never happening, dude. You, you've lost your mind. <gasps> salt! We found salt. Good. Alright. That is awesome. We have struck salt. So I imagine this will all be salt in here. I'm hoping. All these things we are nearly done with the stone blocks here so that'll be good let's set up a stockpile up here for some fecal sludge clear all fecal sludge perfect and you are in a dark environment here so let's reinstall this thing over here That does outline how far the light goes, I think. Or no, that's not really what it's doing either. What is this green line here? Weird. Not quite sure. Okay, almost done with that. And then we'll probably start mining out the rest of this and starting on some of these bedrooms over here. So lots and lots of work ahead of us, but I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes. I think we've got a pretty promising prospect here for, for this colony. Uh, mostly just, I'm really excited about actually the way that this is shaping out, where we've got a whole block here and a whole block here that we're gonna be able to take advantage of. Um, and is easily walled off. I mean, that's an easy wall off right there. Um, it might look a little long. I mean, even if we just did this right here, this is still plenty of space for us to, you know, do stuff with. Um, I just think this is a little bit longer and just as easy, essentially, um, to hold off. Now we'll just do another wooden wall like we have up here um, and probably just make it down probably make a door right here 
our main entrances will be this long passageway that just goes up and down right here. But maybe we'll actually have a main entrance up through here as well at some point. I don't know. Lots to think about here. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll pick up in the next one and uh, get a lot more base building done in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.